EOS R7 Mark II has been quietly building momentum for years, and as 2026 approaches, the picture surrounding Canon's next-generation APS-C mirrorless camera is becoming clearer, with growing confidence that this long-anticipated flagship crop sensor body will finally arrive in the first half of 2026, most likely after the annual CP Plus camera exhibition concludes in early March. Even though Canon itself has not officially confirmed an announcement date yet, making the anticipation among photographers, videographers, wildlife shooters, sports enthusiasts, and hybrid content creators even stronger as new bits of information continue to surface. According to the latest industry chatter, the EOS R7 Mark II is shaping up to be a meaningful evolution rather than a minor refresh with Canon reportedly developing an all-new high-resolution APS-C sensor that lands just under the previously rumored 40-megapixel figure, instead pointing toward a newly designed 39-megapixels backside illuminated sensor that promises improved light gathering, better dynamic range, and more efficient readout compared to the original EOS R7's 32.5-megapixels chip. And while there is still uncertainty around whether this sensor will use a fully stacked architecture, the very possibility places the R7 Mark II squarely in competition with other high-performance crop sensor cameras like Sony's A6700 and Fujifilm's X-H2, especially for users who want professional level speed and detail without stepping up to full-frame systems. Video performance is another major talking point as reliable whispers now suggest that the Canon R7 Mark II will support 8K video recording, a feature that until recently was reserved for more expensive bodies, though exact specifications such as frame rates, recording limits, codec options, and the availability of internal raw video remain unknown at this stage, leaving room for Canon to surprise creators who rely on oversampled 4K, high bitrate video, and advanced color science for YouTube, filmmaking, documentary work, and commercial projects. On the photography side, expectations are high that Canon will integrate the latest iteration of dual-pixel CMOS AF2, enhanced with next-generation AI subject detection capable of recognizing people, animals, birds, vehicles, and potentially even more specialized subjects, paired with lightning-fast continuous shooting speeds that could reach up to 30 frames per second using an electronic shutter, offering a blackout-free EVF experience ideal for fast-moving action, wildlife photography, and sports coverage. Ergonomics and body design are also rumored to see notable improvements, with leaks hinting at a slightly larger and more robust chassis inspired by Canon's higher-end bodies, delivering a deeper grip, refined button placement, better weather sealing, and improved thermal management to support extended video recording sessions without overheating, which would be a major advantage for hybrid shooters who frequently switch between stills and video. Additional features being discussed include upgraded in-body image stabilization potentially rated at up to 8 stops, dual memory card slots combining CF Express and SD for both speed and redundancy, a fully articulating touchscreen for vlogging and creative angles, enhanced electronic viewfinder resolution, and even the possibility that Canon may experiment with an electronic-only shutter design for silent shooting, reduced vibration, and higher durability, although this remains speculative. From a market perspective, Canon's decision to delay the R7 Mark II until 2026 appears strategic allowing the company to focus on refreshing its full-frame lineup while ensuring that the APS-C flagship returns with genuinely competitive specifications that justify the wait, and with an expected price range somewhere between roughly $1,999 and $2,299, the EOS R7 Mark II could blur the line between enthusiast and professional cameras, offering advanced performance that rivals more expensive models while remaining attractive to users invested in Canon RF lenses. Overall, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II is increasingly being described as a mini R5 or baby R5 for crop sensor users, and if Canon successfully delivers a fast, high-resolution APS-C camera with strong video features, reliable autofocus, and modern design, it could significantly reshape the APS-C mirrorless landscape in 2026.
reigniting interest in crop sensor systems and giving photographers and content creators a powerful new tool that balances reach, resolution, speed, and versatility in a compact, professional-grade body perfectly suited for today's demanding hybrid workflows.